In 2017, the National Fisheries Resource Research Institute reported a decline in fish stocks from major lakes around the country, with this blamed on illegal fishing methods. As a result, President Museveni ordered the deployment of UPDF soldiers at major landing sites around the country. However, for fishing communities along lakes Kyoga and Kwania, the enforcement has come with its own problems. We've had an judicious killing in the lake. I have lost my limb. I'm now in the state which I'm in because of the brutality that is in the lake. Reports of alleged brutality and torture along Lake Yoga are common. In 2019, 68 people jointly sued government for 1.2 trillion shillings as compensation for alleged torture by members of the UPDF. On Monday, Fresh reports emerged that eight people had been arrested by the Fisheries Protection Unit while Patrick O'Mara was allegedly killed at a mile landing site in Amolata district. They killed one with multiple stabbing in the leg. They extorted money to a tune of about three million shillings from the family of other eight people and killed one of them. Now, there is prima facie evidence that the police should and the security should start from to investigate these officers. We have been crying fall of, of, of uh, murders that are uninvestigated. But now the one of the lake is becoming, it's becoming an, a new normal. In the past, reports of torture of fishermen were reported at various landing sites like Bangladesh, Namasale, Mbiko, Kayago, Nalubuoyo, Muntu, Abeja and Amai in Amolata district. Of course there have been incidences, yes. I think you remember that even the CDF came Minister of Defense and all that, but we have not seen really any tangible kind of follow-up for all the, the mayhem that has been caused there. In April 2019, leaders from the districts surrounding the two lakes endorsed several resolutions to ensure that only the recommended fishing gears are used on the lakes. Fishing was restored in Lake Yoga. Persons have acquired boats that are within the standards, that is 28 feet. These murders, gruesome treatment, had ended during elections, but immediately after elections, we are seeing our people dying and in the lakes. As more reports of harsh treatment from the security against locals in landing sites continue to emerge, the leaders from the affected districts have urged government to urgently intervene into the matter. We don't want individuals in government to tarnish the image of government in the name of an operation. Because we know that when you are deployed to do work, there are procedures that are followed. If somebody is on the wrong, you arrest and you prosecute. The district security team must come out, must come out quickly to investigate the soldiers who did kill Patrick Omara in the lake and those who are still doing the same. According to Jimmy Patrick Okema, the North Kyoga police spokesperson, the Monday incident has not yet come to the attention of the police, although he confirms that investigations are underway to ascertain the facts behind the alleged murder. As of now, there is no any report that we've got formally within our police facilities. Personally, I've been in touch with our commander and have not done an operation in that area of late. Nelson Omoya, NTV Weekend Edition.